Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to adjust the default RAM and swap space allocated to WSL in your Windows machine. So by default, this is my current configuration, the specs of my current laptop. I have 16 gigs of RAM, okay? And I have, see, I have 16 gigs of RAM and I have 12 GB roughly of swap space, also known as page file, which you can verify from here. Edit system variables over here, uh, go into settings, advanced, and there you go. So there's your page file. So this is where, you know, the where the disk, where your SSD or hard drive is repurposed as RAM. So. That's what the swap space is. Now, what happens if you want to adjust your default values? You, by default, Linux uh, or WSL, uh, whatever you have installed inside WSL, like Ubuntu. So it gets allocated by default 50% of the RAM that you have in Windows. So you get allocated uh, 8 GB. And the swap space that you get allocated is 25% of your Windows RAM. So in this case, it's gonna be four gigabytes. Now let me show you how you can verify this inf information. Go over to WSL, open whatever distro you have installed, type this, and it shows you the memory and the swap space that's been allocated to it. So let's explore how to, you know, change these values. Go over to your user folder, okay? Make sure that the show file name extensions option is enabled. Then go and create a new text file, or actually a new file with the extension .wsl config. Open it up in Notepad or any other text editor. Type WSL2. Now you're gonna write memory is equal to 8 GB. This is the default value. Now what I'm gonna do is change it from 8 GB to 12 GB. Now, you can also do the swap space, swap is equal to 8 GB, for example, or we can go with even 12 GB, but let's just go with 8. So this gives us a total of 20 gigabytes of memory, essentially. Now, to make sure these changes take effect, what we're gonna do is open up the command prompt. We're gonna type WSL hyphen hyphen shutdown this is going to shut down WSL, okay? As you can see, Docker will shut down here any minute because I have Docker installed as well. But that's not important, so it's just going to shut down. And what I'm going to do is just open this up again. Okay, just wait like 10 seconds and then open it up again. So let's type this again, and what we get is 12 and 8 gigabytes. So we essentially went from about 12 gigabytes, and yeah, Docker should just shut down because it runs on WSL, just restart it. So we went from 12 gigabytes to 20 gigabytes. So that's pretty good. So this, you can use this trick if you need to increase your memory, uh, you know, if you want to run some heavy programs on WSL. So yeah, thanks for watching.